U.S. officials confirmed today that the cousin of Mohammed Abu Qader, the Palestinian who was killed, is in Israeli custody. Israeli officials claim 15-year-old Tarek Abu Qader was part of a group of mass teenagers who attacked police. Tarek's parents say he was a victim of a vicious assault by Israeli police. Tarek is a U.S. citizen who was on vacation in Jerusalem visiting relatives. His parents flew from Florida to be by his side. Us as Americans, it's just, it's not human, you know? Who takes somebody who's badly beaten and uh, straight back to jail the same day? At least give him his right for, for medical attention for a couple of days. More details have been released about the conditions that led to the death of the Palestinian teen, as well as what's next for his detained cousin. Ms. Reina al reports from Jerusalem. The Palestinian Authority Attorney General said that the preliminary autopsy of Muhammad Abu Khdir states that the remnants of a burned substance were present in his respiratory passages and his lungs, which indicates that he had inhaled that substance while being burned alive. Uh, they said also that 90% of his body uh, was uh, covered with burns varying between first to fourth degree burns and that he had sustained a head injury as well. Now, the autopsy was in uh, Jerusalem on Thursday in the presence of a Palestinian doctor. That's why we are hearing these official details on the autopsy report from the Palestinian Authority. However, the Israeli authorities have imposed a gag order on the reporting details of the murder of uh, Palestinian Mohammed Abu Khdir. Uh, so there are no details coming from the Israeli side. Now, separately, we also heard from the lawyer and the family of a cousin of Mohammed Abu Khdir named Tariq Abu Khdir, who is 15 years old and is a U.S. citizen, that he on uh, Thursday night had been uh, detained and beaten by Israeli security forces while he was uh, participating in protests against Israeli uh, border police in the East Jerusalem neighborhood of Shafat. According to the family and the lawyer, he had been beaten very badly. Uh, we saw pictures of him on social media, uh, very brutally beaten with a very swollen face. Now, apparently he had been taken to a police station and then to a uh, uh, to a prison uh, uh, and then at some point he went to a hospital for treatment the Shin Bet which is the Israeli intelligence came on Friday morning to the hospital to take him to court but the doctor refused on the grounds that he needed additional medical treatment however they did show up a few hours later and the Israeli intelligence took him uh, despite the fact that the doctor refused to discharge him now Tariq Abu Khdir is a US citizen um, he will appear in court on Sunday at n uh, 9 GMT noon local time, according to his lawyer, who said he's going to try to negotiate his release before the court hearing. But we also understood from the family that they talked to the U.S. Embassy and asked it to intervene, but they said until now no action had been taken. Israel says it is launching an investigation into the alleged assault by Israeli police, but authorities there are questioning the validity of the video. A spokesman for the Israeli police said this. This is a video edited in bias that does not represent the events. During violent disturbances in East Jerusalem, hundreds of riot rioters, that is, many of them masked, hurled at the forces pipe bombs, Molotov cocktails, fireworks, and stones. As a result of severe violence, 15 police officers were injured. The White House is also weighing in, saying this, we are profoundly troubled by reports that he was severely beaten while in police custody and strongly condemn any excessive use of force. We are calling for a speedy, transparent, and credible investigation and full accountability for any excessive use of force.